So my Lucerne was having the typical problem with the um, brake light being stuck on. And uh, well, these cars don't use a typical brake switch like older ones do. They actually use a uh, rheostat. This is my new one here. It's a, and they call it a brake pedal position sensor. So I'm here replacing it. And it's a little bit of a pain, but it's not a terrible job. You gotta take off the bolster here, which I already removed it, but there's two black screws, one here and one here going through it. And then you have to push it up this way to pop these clips. So you have to pull it up towards, push it up towards the column, which I did have to whack it a little bit to get the pop. And then you have this piece here insulation in the cover which sits kind of under here and held in with these two push clips christmas tree clips we want to call them here and over here so you just pry those down pull it out of the way and disconnect the light cable here and once you get that out of the way you can see the switch I already started taking some screws out. So, just point out what I did so far. Um, so, here's the brake pedal here. To follow it up, this connector here. I can't really get the camera on this side. This part right here is the switch we're after. But in GM's infinite wisdom, they screwed the damn thing in. Sorry, the stop button. They actually screwed it in from behind. As you can see, over here. So this is the back side of the screw here coming through so we have to get to the head on the back side here which requires removing the gas pedal why they couldn't just screw it through on the front i don't know it looked like it was too simple to do it that way so but the pedal's not terrible to remove can't really get in here you have i already unbolted it but three bolts you can see one poking through there the electrical connector so the three screws you have to remove for the brake pedal are this one here in front of the electrical connector that one there to the left of the screw holding that switch in place And the last one is way up there, towards the top there. You can kind of see the sud sticking through. So once you take these three out, get this last nut off. And take this out of here. The paddle out. Panel assembly and get that out of the way. Out of there, you can take out that screw, which I can't get the camera in there, so I'm not going to show it from behind. I went in that way, and then you could just swap these parts out. I'm not going to be able to show that, but the idea goes in that way. I'm going to swap that out, and I'll be right back. 
You can see now where it was. Up it right up there. There's the old one. There's the old one. And uh, one thing to note, the screw's held in with red Loctite, so it does take a good amount of torque to get off of there. So I'm going to be putting it back in with um, using blue Loctite. It's less permanent, but it'll do the job just fine. Honestly, it probably doesn't need any at all. So I'll get the new one up there. And we'll move on. So there it is, the new switch is in. Pedals back in, and again the three bolts I was talking about was to get the pedal out is that there, one there, and that nut all the way up at the top there. Now that one's a pain in the ass because you have to like really f have a small hand to get up there to get that thing started. And I just used a gear wrench uh, to take it off. But you, know, you get those three out and the paddle comes out, pull to the right and it drops out. So I'll hook the electrical connector back up. I'm gonna put all this stuff back on and uh, get the scan tool out and uh, recalibrate this. All right, so put this uh, knee bolster on. You put this back up and push these two clips in after hooking up the blue connector for the light down here. And as far as putting this back on, I'm going to end up lining up these, all these tabs in here with the ones there. Gonna sit it flush and push down and it clips in. And then you put these two screws in and it's just a reverse for taking it out. So what I'm going to do first, we're going to turn on the ignition to the run position and check the brake lights. You can see on mine, they're still stuck on. So what we're going to do is recalibrate the um, sensor. Now, I had already calibrated this once, hoping that would fix it with that replacement. So... You know, if yours has never been messed with, you might not need to do a calibration. But, you know, if you do have to do it, you need either a Tech 2, or I'm using the uh, Ethos Tech here. So I'll do Scanner. Buick, and this one's an 07, oh, too far, and this fix should apply for uh, 06 to 11, the whole run of the Lucerne, automatic, okay, And what we're looking for is the BCM body control module. And we want to do setup, brake position, brake pedal position sensor calibration. Do not press pedal, leave in park, okay. Clear DTCs, so we'll see if there's any, any set. Might be a code in there for the uh, 
do the brake or the uh, gas pedals. I did turn the ignition on while I was disconnected. Nope, no coat. Excellent. Okay. Alright. Power cycle. <laughs> And lights are off. So, so far as to it. Now, as I can't watch the brake lights and record, or hit the pedal rather, you can do data display on here. Brake pedal. Hit the gas pedal, and the further you press it down, the higher that number goes. You can see it's nice and smooth, based on how I'm pressing it. Let go abruptly, slam on it. I should have probably did this with the old one hooked up. It'd be interesting to see what that looked like. But, yeah, this pedal looks like it's working correctly now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and unfortunately, you do need a scan tool to recalibrate it. And it can't just be a basic one. It's got to be a feature one like the Snap-on or the original Tech 2. But, I mean, all in all, it's not a very difficult job. It's just a little tight down there. Uh, the new pedal, I mean, this one, or the sensor, rather, it's a standard. I think I paid 10 bucks for this, so it's not an expensive fix, either. So, yeah, I see a lot of lucerns with that light on, on the road, so, you yeah, know, that's what it takes to fix it. All right.